Okay, let's take a look at this one right here. This is this is another one. Just it's about angles and what lets everything happen easily and repetitively. So, on this one here, we're going to take a look at two different angles, and I'll show you what happens here. So as clay comes out here, now you, you can see the distance is, is out to the steer. So his first swing just gets up, but now he's set. So from this distance right here, you can see where he's where he's at. So look where the loop is coming out of his hand, right over the horns. That's where he sets it at. Now as he takes every stride he takes, it's going to come down just a little bit. So it's starting to drop because he knows on this steer and on this horse, his plan when he left the box on this horse was to go to the hip, but he still swings above him and every stride, it starts dropping down. So now he's right on top of him. This is a flat horn steer, so he's going to drop it down even a little bit more. So now he's to the steer and there he is right on the horn. So here comes his delivery. So he's aimed. There's, this, there's a catch built right in that swing right there. And that all started right here. And this is the thing that that I think people need to kind of really understand is when you start your rope, you don't want to swing. Okay, you see where he's at right here? See where he's aimed down right here? That's right at the horns. Now, had he done that back here, if he'd have started it right and got it down here, see that's where it would have been instead of out over him. So he's not locked into one throw. So if the steer puts a little move on him somewhere or moves, steps to the right a little too far, he's still out over the horns where he can rope. You can see where he aimed at, but every stride, when it's coming to the steer, it's above him, above him, not starting to drop. Every stride it drops. Because you can see every time his loop comes forwards, the horse's front feet are on the ground, front feet are on the ground. Every stride it starts dropping a little bit as he gets closer and he can stick it on him. And that that's that's the main thing about being consistent and never getting into locked into one throw, having to uh, happen to adjust on your delivery. So now to follow up on the other video we did, now he knows he's going to go to the hip on this one, and you can see where the plane of the loop is here and here. So he's perfectly level because he knows he's going to the hip, roping those. So that those are very important things to know where you're going to rope from, but never getting locked in too deep with your tip. Always remember that your tip is your sight. Wherever your tip is aimed, that's where your loop wants to go.